people often juxtapose cooperation and competition as if they're opposites, but that they're not opposites at all. Another Piagetian observation. So you say, well, is hockey a competitive game? And people would say, well, yeah. But then you think, well, really? Really? No one brings a basketball, right? So we're going to play by the rules. That's cooperation. Well, are the teams competing against each other? Well, yes, but they agree to compete within a particular landscape, and they all cooperate to maintain that landscape. And so you do the same thing when you're playing Monopoly. It's like you're trying to win, but at the same time you're cooperating. And that's what that's that's society, man. That's society right there. You're cooperating. That's the big enclosure, and within that there are regulated competitions. But to separate those artificially and say, well, one's comp competition and the other's cooperation is just it's, just... it's just not very smart. It's not observant. That isn't how it works. And, and games are intensely cooperative, even if they're intensely competitive. I mean, the hockey teams are playing the same game. That's the cooperation. Then each team, there's co competition within the team to be the best player, let's say, but everyone wants that because everyone wants good players to emerge but you still cooperate like mad with your teammates and if you don't pass and, and you know, play like a reasonable person then they're going to not be happy with you and so even within that competition, cooperation is regulating the interactions and then you can think, this is a really good thing to think too it's like, you know, people often say to their kids doesn't matter whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. And the kid, of course, has no idea what that means. It's like, what do you mean? Uh, I'm trying to win. And the parent says, no, no, it matters how you play. And the kid pushes them, and the parents really can't come up with a good explanation of why that's the case. They might say, well, other kids won't play with you if you... Oh, there you go! Because you could say... This is something to think about. So, there's a game, and there's a victory within the game. But then there's the set of all games. And there's victory across the set of all games. And the victory that you attain across the set of all games isn't winning all the games. It's being invited to play all the games. And so if you play fair, then you're playing a metagame. And the metagame is how to win across the set of all games. And so if you teach your child how to behave properly, then they always get invited to play. And that makes them winners. And that's that. And so, if you understand that, you understand something phenomenally important about the emergence of morality.